Hey, Booms, it's Mr. Mars. I'm going to give you a virtual tour of our technology lab at Cristo Rey. So some of the things that we have here are 3D printers. You can see this wall behind me of 3D printers. So we'll start with these smaller printers, learning how to um, operate these and to make things for these. And there's something in here that, um, you'll be, that you have an opportunity to make. So this is a um, backpack tag, but what you can do is you design this on a computer and then you'll be able to um, 3D print it. So like I said, you'll start with these 3D printers and then you'll move on to um, these ones here that are, you can make larger things and different um, options for support materials and that'll be explained in future dates. We have two larger ones that um, you may have seen some of these at one of your corporate work study jobs. Other things we have are this large format printer. So we can print things like posters, stickers, banners. Um, again, we're designing these things on computers and then we're, we're making a final product. Another thing that we have that you can see is this um, vinyl cutter. So think of like those um, symbols that you see on the doors at school, the Cristo Rey logo. And another thing that we have on this side is an embroidery machine. So embroidery, we're, we're seeing something like on my sweater here where you can embroider this, but this what, this embroidery machine can embroider six colors at the same time. So much more complex. And again, you're designing something on a computer and then you are um, making a final product. So now we're gonna go into another space that we have. And this is, we're, we're calling this the fabrication lab. What we're doing is we're kind of doing a more subtractive process over here. This is a laser engraver. Some things that I've been playing around with so far is making signs for um, classroom doors, making directions on like how we would make a design. And again, like I was saying before, we start with our design on a computer. So you can see that same design on the computer here. I'm saying what I want each thing to happen. And then we get our final product. Once it um, obviously does some laser engraving. So a next thing that we have. So we also have some various wood and plastic shop tools. So this is a big panel saw, kind of like a table saw. We have a drill press there. And you can see we have a, a belt sander and disc sander. Some band saws for uses of... Um, like soft metals or plastic and wood. We have a radial arm saw, think of chopping um, wood boards, but then also cutting them at angles. And those those things I just talked about, those are old technology, so they're, we're not necessarily designing something on a computer and, um, and it happening in that sort of process. But this next one is, is something where, again, we'll design something on a computer and then it can make um, it can make that object that you designed. So this is called a CNC router, computer numeric control router. Another thing that we have, so that's exclusively wood and plastics. This other machine that we have is called um, a CNC plasma cutter. So um, you can whoops. So you can see that you can design or make a shape and then you, this machine will cut that shape out. Another example, again, you see that Crease Array logo inside the Minnesota. So with all these machines that we have in the technology lab, a space that, I, that we don't have um, quite as prepared yet is our audio visual. So think about cameras, think about microphones, think about a sound booth, virtual reality. And when that space is more prepared, then I can um, give you a tour of that space as well. So uh, again, this is your virtual tour, and I hope that this jogs your mind or starts you thinking like, how do I get into that space and make with, those, um, with all those machines? One thing you can do is you can contact me um, if there's something that you're interested in, and we can um, set up a project from there. Otherwise, um, these things will be used in your classes um, in the next coming years. All right, bye everyone.